Me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 34 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add a Kino style teleporter. Now, there is going to be a download in the video description. Once you download it, it's going to present you with these files right over here. Now, these files you're going to drag and drop into your root folder. So, let me do that right now for you guys. There we go. Now, this is my root folder on the left. And these are the files that you downloaded on the right. So you're going to drag all these over. Now, the reason it's saying, do you want to replace this? Because I already had them in there. So once you have those files already installed into your root folder, you know, close it out. And if anything, I'm going to make a new map so I can show you guys how to implement this. So I'm going to call this ZM underscore on the folders and of course let me go to zombie mode press ok there we go it made the scripts all right i'm gonna show you guys from start to finish how to put this in so let's uh open up the map click on that one open map and radiant now there are going to be instructions on how to do this but you know some people you know need a little help so that's why I'm doing this right now. All right, so here's the map. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to MISC prefab. And it's right over here. This is the folder you're gonna open up once you go to MISC prefab. It's gonna be underscore NSZ. Now this stands for Nate Smith Zombies. Now this is the person that provided us with the scripts. So big thanks to him because a lot of people have been wanting Kino style teleporters. He's a new addition to Mod Me. So congratulations to him and thank you very much. Much, appreci much appreciated. All right, so we're going to open up this folder. It's going to say Kino Teleporter. Click on that. Now we're going to add all these prefabs into our map. So uh, I'm going to start off with the first one. This one is Black Box Spawns. So uh, this one, I believe, is where the zombies are going to spawn to or at least where they're going to go when you're in the pack a punch room so i'm going to put this right in the middle right there drop this down a little bit i'll leave it like that all right that's the first one now let's go back to miss prefab and i'm going to go to a final post now this should be where you're going to end up spawning after you're back from the teleporter. So I'm going to put that right over here. All right. Let me go back to Miss Prefab. Put in the next one. Now the link pad. Double click on that. I'm going to put this right in the middle. Because I'm going to make a little teleporter room. Now, this is the pad you're going to hit in order to activate the teleporter. So I'm going to pop this one right over here. In a spot that I, I know where it's going to be. You know, you should always have like a little switch or at least something that indicates that you have to push a button because that's where that is. All right, that one's good. Now let's go to the next one. Miss prefab. There we go. Now we're going to put the mainframe. There we go. We'll pop this bad boy right in the middle. Put it right here. Actually, let me move it over a little bit. That's good right there. Hit escape. Make sure it's not too far down. That's cool. All right, let me go to the next one. Now, right now, we're just putting in the prefabs. We're going to have to modify your GSC file, and we're also going to have to modify the sound alias. So, Pack-A-Punch spawn. This is where the Pack-A-Punch is. So, let me leave that one right there. I'm going to make a little room up here. Let's do it right here. Let me back it up a little bit. Right. 
That's going to be my Pack-a-Punch room. Drop this down a little bit. There we go. Let me raise this floor up. All right, cool. All right, there's a Pack-a-Punch room. Let me uh, put the Pack-a-Punch in there. There we go. All right, let me check it out and make sure everything's good. All right, cool. And we're gonna put that right up there because that's where we want to be when we teleport. Up. There we go. All right, let's start adding in the, the rest of the prefabs. All right, miss prefab. Now it's random room spawn. Now, when it says random room spawn, that means uh, if you've played Kino before, right before you get to the, the pack a punch room, <clears throat> it starts spawning you into maybe a different room, like Samantha's room. So you could make a separate room that way your character will just show up in that room and look around real quick and then he's gonna end up spawning to the pack a punch so on uh, this I'm just gonna put it on a side put it behind it it is gonna play some animations so um you know best thing to do is to make a room for that but for this we're just gonna actually let me make another room for that I'll put this down here there we go. And I'll make a little room for it. That way we'll know we're in there. CSG, hollow. All right. Now I'm in the room. Let me texture all of these. Let me give it a cool texture real quick. Give it that texture, and we'll also put in a light so we can see what's happening. All right, cool. All right, so that's the room we're gonna teleport to for a brief second before we get to the pack a punch. And I think there's one other prefab we have to put in. So miss prefab go and set up black box now this is an animations room where it's gonna show us some teleporting animations now this you want most likely you want to leave this inside of your zone because you don't want to die when you spawn over there I'm not sure how that works but to be on the safe side we're just gonna put it let's put it underneath well I guess that on the sides right good right there as long as it's inside of the zone so I'm gonna leave that right there and we're pretty much done. All right, so that's cool. Let me put something right over here so I know where the pad is. There we go. All right, cool. All right, so now that that's all done, the lighting real quick that way it looks nice now it's time for the scripting so I'm gonna go to file I'm gonna go to save because this part is done export the lighting yes thank you all right so now let's go over to the instructions now the first one is we have to put this into the sound alias the your user aliases dot CSV so we're gonna copy all of this 
make sure you get all of these right there. There we go. Actually, we could just copy this. All right, so actually, no, not that bottom part. It's right over here. All right. All right, so copy this. Now we're going to go into the root folder of the Black Ops 3. And we're going to go to Share. We're going to go to Raw. We're going to go to Sound. There it is right here. Aliases and User Aliases. Now, I already have it in here. So what you would do is you just, uh, you know, copy and paste it there. Delete all that. And just paste it in. There we go. Now all of this stuff, just move it over. Hit file, hit save. Now it's going to be directed to a sound folder that we um, put into the root folder. So this part is pretty much done. So just save it. And that's it. Now we're going to put in this line right over here into your CSG file. So we're going to go over to Launcher. Right click it. Go over to Show Zone Folder. There we go. Here's the zone folder. Now we're going to back out one. We're going to go to Scripts. We're going to go to ZM. We're going to go to ZM Teleporters because that's what I named the map. It's the GSC file. Click on that. And I'm going to add this right over here. Let me make some space. You want to put this in your function main. You know, just make a little spot for it. Right over here. There we go. All right, now we're going to add another line to it, which is at using scripts underscore NSZ slash NSZ underscore Kino underscore teleporter colon. All right, so grab that. Copy that one. Let's go back to the GSC file. Now you see right over here where it says using scripts ZM user. You want to put it under there. So make some space, pop it in, hit file, hit save. Bow, that's done. Now I believe there's only one step left. So now we have to put this information in your zone file. So copy that. Remember, all of this is going to be in the download description. Or at least in the download. So I close out of these. Right click this one. Now we're going to go to edit zone file. Click on that. And you're going to paste it right under here. Like me, I like fixing up the way it looks. So let me just move this over to the side. Hit file, hit save, and that's it. We're done. All right, so let's build the map. ZM teleporters. Click build. And with any luck, we've hopefully we did it right. And we'll have these working Kino teleporters for us. So let's see. Come on, baby. Once again, much props to um, Nate Smith for uh, providing us with these scripts. You know, we're going to have very cool maps because of this. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, let's give it a few more seconds. It's almost done. And we'll see how it came out. I also have uh, jump pads. I'm going to come out with another tutorial later on today for that. Just like the ones on, um, is it Revelations? All right, cool. Looks like it's done. There we go, baby. That's the sound I like. So let's jump on in. Let me get my control ready.
There we go. I'm so, I'm so anxious. Come on. Let's go. There we go. All right, cool. As you can see, everything's in the game. If we did it right, as soon as I jump on the on the pad, it should say to initiate. There we go. All right, so of course, press X. That's the starting part. Now, remember, I put this right over here because there's another pad. It's going to say link the core. And there it goes. You can hear the sound. Now, there, there's one thing I forgot is to show you guys how to change how long you're going to be up there. But as soon as we're done with checking it out, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. All right. So, of course, if you're going to go to the Pack-A-Punch, you should have the power on. And let me jump on up there. Let's go. Engage. There we go. All right. Cool. And I should be up here only 10 seconds. Actually, I changed it to 30 seconds, so I'm going to be here for a while. I forgot I did that already. So in the once you get the download, I already modified the file, so you can stay up here 30 seconds. But if you want to change it, it's fully uh, customizable. There we go. All right, cool. Can you see? It's ended up spawning me over here. And that's how you get the keynote teleporter working. All right, so let's go over to um to the GSC file so I can show you guys how to modify that. Let me jump out of this. Go over here. All right, cool. All right, so go to your roof folder. Go over to, I believe it's share. Raw. Scripts. There it is. And it's going to say underscore NSZ. Click on that. Now, this is the GSC file. Now, right over here, it it basically explains it cooldown time after teleporting in seconds like it has 90 seconds the kill radius that's for um the radius for it killing zombies it's at 100 now here it is right over here the amount of time you will spend in the pack a punch room i set it to 30 seconds which is right here so it's fully customizable all you have to do is just change the time to the time that you would like it and that's pretty much it. Just modify this area right over here. Leave everything else as is. And there you have it, guys. If you guys like the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And once again, thank you to Nate Smith for providing us with the Kino Teleporter. Peace, guys.